In any math problem, it's very important that you check your answers. In this video, we're going to go over, when you do long division pro problems, how you can go about checking your answers. One way to make sure your answer is somewhere close is to use estimates, and you should be using estimates anytime you solve a math problem. For this um, series of problems here, we're just going to show you actually how you can check your answer all the way down um, to the hundredths or the thousandths place to make sure that your answer is 100% correct. So all we need to do with a division problem is to take our answer, so in this case 21, and then we're going to multiply it by the divisor or the number outside the box. So we're going to do 21 times 6. And if we did this all correctly, that should equal 126 or the number inside the box. So 21 times 6, we're going to set up our lattice box here. And make sure that 21 times 6 is indeed 126. So set up our boxes with our diagonal lines, and then we're going to multiply. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. So we're adding. And sure enough, we're going to get 126. So we can say 100% confidence that we solved this problem correctly. Draw a leaf under your title. Let's try one more. For this problem, we're going to check and see if 41.3 divided by 7 equals 5.9. So again, we're going to multiply our answer, 5.9, times the number outside the box, or the divisor. So we're going to do 5.9 times 7. And let's check this out and see. Again, we're going to set up our lattice box. And if you're good at your math facts, it's really easy for you to, to check this very quickly. It's 5.9 times 7. Okay, now we'll do our multiplication. So 9 times 7 is 63, and 5 times 7 is 35. We'll do our addition. So we get 413, and the decimal goes down, and sure enough, we get 41.3. So this we can say with 100% accuracy again that 41.3 divided by 7 equals 5.9. Make sure you're checking all your answers. Some answers are going to have a remainder, so this slide is going to show you how to check your answer if it has a remainder. So the first problem is 2,567 divided by 5. I'm going to use traditional for this one. So we ask ourselves, how many times does 5 go into 25? 5 times, and our steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So now we multiply, 5 times 5 is 25, subtract, bring down the next number. How many times does 5 go into 6? 1 time. Now we multiply, 1 times 5 is 5, subtract, and bring down the last number. How many times does 5 go into 17? I know that 5 times 3 is 15, so 3 times 5 is 15 leaves us with a remainder of 2. So the answer is 513 remainder 2. Or at least I think that's what the answer is. So to check an answer when you have a remainder, the tip is, is you're going to add the remainder in at the end, like our tip says down here. So we're going to do everything we would do on a normal checking your answer problem. We're going to take this top number, we're going to take our answer, this number here, and we're going to multiply it by 5. So 513 times 5. And I'm going to do my quick way of multiplying over here. I'm not going to set up a lattice. But you could absolutely set up a lattice. 
5 times 3 is 15. I'm going to carry the 1, drop the 5. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And 5 times 5 is 25. So the only difference now, if it has a remainder, is, is that you're going to add the remainder at the end. So now I'm going to come back over here with my remainder of 2 and now add that in down here. So if I add a 2 here, it's going to be 2,567. And if that answer matches this number, then we know we're correct. So I know that I'm correct on this problem. Let's do one more, just so you guys get the hang of it. So 584 divided by 3, and I'm going to use partial quotients this time. Okay, how many groups of 3 can we take out of 500? I'm going to start with 100 groups of 3. 100 times 3 is 300. Subtract that out. And I'm left with 284. Let's see, I know that 80 times 3, or 8 times 3, is 24. So I'm going to take out 240 groups. Okay, I'm left with 44. I know that 3 times 10 is 30. So let's take out 10 groups. 10 times 3, 30. Okay, I'm left with 14. I know that 3 times 4 is 12, so 4 groups of 3 is 12. And it looks like I'm going to have a remainder of 2 down here. So add my partial quotients. Notice I have them all lined up correctly with my 1s in my 1s place, 10s in my 10s place. So it looks like our answer is 194, remainder 2. So ask yourself right now, how would we check this answer to be sure it's correct? Well, for now, we're going to ignore the remainder. We're going to add that in at the end. So we're just working with this number and the number on the outside. So I'm going to do my quick multiplication again. 194 multiplied by 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1, drop the 2. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. And 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 2 is 5. And my last step now is to add in that remainder. So I have a remainder of 2 over here. So I'm going to add that in. 582 plus 2 is going to be 584. And if that number matches this number, I know that I did the problem correctly. And it does. So that's how you're going to do checking your answers with remainders. Remember the tip at the bottom here is that you do it exactly like you would do the other problems and you add the remainder in at the end.